In this video, I'm going to show you how to decorate these little terracotta flower pots from the Dollar Tree using a bowl of water and some fingernail polish. Here's the pink and purple one. I really like doing this. It's a lot of fun and there's just, you know, endless color combinations and possibilities. So, yep, I got paint all over my hands, but it's okay because I just made a ton of these today. But stay tuned and I'll show you how to make them. Alrighty, I'm standing up and I've got my camera at a different angle, so hopefully y'all can see and hear me okay. First off, what you're going to need to do is take your little terracotta pot. Of course, these are from Dollar Tree. They come in a two-pack. You're going to need to paint them white. I use this spray paint, this Rust-Oleum, the Gloss White from Walmart. It works really, really well, and this is what my little pot looks like after I finish painting it. Now you need a big bowl. I suggest a glass bowl. This is Pyrex. And you want the bowl to be full of water. You want the water line to be about half an inch to an inch above the top of your little pot here because you don't want your pot to bump the bottom of the bowl when you dip it. That can smudge your polish and it won't look as nice. So fill your bowl up with water. To dip your pot, I want to show you just a little trick that I use that I found that makes it a lot easier. You take a pipe cleaner and then take a button just run your pipe cleaner through the holes of the button, just like that. Okay, so that looks like that. Now take that and feed that up through the big opening of your flower pot. And now that gives you a little hanger to use to dip your pot with. You can just hold it like this with your fingers and dip it that way. And that kind of makes a mess. So I like doing it this way. Now for your nail polish, I've found that the quick dry stuff like from Sally Hansen does not work very well. Just use your plain old, take a long time to dry nail polish. This is pure ice from Walmart. Uh, this is LA Colors. You can get this at the Dollar Tree. And I think on this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try blue and orange. So just shake your polish up. And then you just want to pour some into the water here. Just try to pour it like in a swirl. And I know it looks funny like it's just dissipating, <laughs> like it's um, like it's um, just kind of thinned out and you can't really see much, but it's okay. Once you get it onto your little flower pot here, it's going to look a lot different. Believe me, I've been doing a bunch of these and um, it will look different. Okay, now you see the design on there? Just let it sit just for a second. Now you can take like a little dowel rod, a stick or whatever. Just gently drag it through that polish to make a good swirl, just like that. I also paint my nails using this technique. It's called water marbling, and it, it comes out really nicely. So just swirl it around just like that. Okay, now what you're going to do is just dip your pot into the water. And what happens is that polish floating on top is going to stick to the outside of your pot. So just dip it very, very slowly. Let it lower itself into the water. It don't matter what kind of angle it's at. Doesn't matter if it's perfect. Just get right to the bottom. Try not to let it bump the bottom. Pull it straight back up. And there you go. Isn't that awesome? Pretty, right? I mean, look. And that was just with orange and blue. I mean, isn't that beautiful? So now I'm going to just move my bowl out of the way. I'm going to splash water everywhere. I'm going to make a mess. Ah, look what I'm doing. It's okay. It's all right. I'll clean it up later. And now I'm just going to set this just on a piece of paper to dry. Or because you have this, the, the pipe cleaner sticking up, you can like fasten it around a kitchen cabinet knob or something. Just let that hang to drip dry if you want to. I'm just going to set mine down on this paper and hopefully it won't stick to it too badly and there you go just just bend your pipe cleaner a little bit like that so that it won't hang down and touch your paint now just let it sit there to dry i mean isn't that awesome you can do so many different colors i suggest only using two colors for me that gets the best effect but you can use whatever you like so i really hope that you like this i hope you have some fun with it if you want if you're going to be using these outside Get a clear spray paint, like a clear sealant. Just give it a quick, a quick spray over the outside, you know, just to protect it. 
And there you go. So I really hope that you enjoyed this. If you would, please give me a thumbs up, click subscribe, check me out on other forms of social media. I'll have the links to all those in the description box down below. I hope to see y'all next time. Bye-bye.